Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines, and today we're going to show you how to set up the HTC Vive. Alright, so first things first, before we get into the hardware setup, you're going to have to download a couple pieces of software. First one's going to be the actual Vive setup, check the link below for that URL. Second one's going to be the Steam VR client, which you can find right on Steam, so go ahead and get those started. On the hardware side, we're going to start off with the detector boxes. Now you have two of these in your box. You're going to find a couple of ports on the back as well as a couple of different screw holes for different types of mounting. You're also going to want to grab the power adapter for that. That's going to be the one with the 90 degree angle connector on the opposite end. As far as mounting height goes, you're going to want to make sure that these are at least six and a half feet up in the air, preferably above door level or maybe a little bit higher. So if you want to put them on the wall, pick a door somewhere around there and aim for that. If you're going to do the mounting brackets, these ones particularly go on the wall. You want to make sure you unscrew that all the way to get it all the way at the bottom. Pop the little box on here, screw it in, and then you can go ahead and connect the power. And then once you notice, you're going to see a little C or a B on there. That's going to let you know the channel. Make sure it says C or B. And keep in mind that letter when you move them on to the next box. Now you can also want to make sure that these are tilted down 35 to 45 degrees and they're able to see your whole room. Now these have a 120 degree angle lens, so it should be pretty wide. Those who want to use other things besides mounting them on the wall can use something like a tripod or another standard screw mount that will just pop onto this thing. You can screw it right in and it'll hold still and make sure that that 120 degree angle lens can actually see the whole room and that both boxes are going to have overlapping views. So make sure you look from the box, both boxes can sort of see each other and see a similar area around each other. Again, once this one powers up, you're going to notice the opposite letter. Again, remember B or C. If you need to change that channel, there's a little button on the back. Make sure they're set to B and C. So next up is going to be the little connector box. Of course, you're going to have the power cable for this, a USB cable, as well as an HDMI cable. Go ahead and plug that USB cable in the back of your computer and that HDMI cable into the back of your primary graphics card. Now you're going to plug these into the box on the side that says PC. That's the black side with a blue USB 3.0 jack. Once those are connected, you're going to want to grab that HTC Vive headset and you're going to want to grab the other side of that box. And that's going to be the orange side that's also labeled VR. Grab the cords that are on the back of that HTC Vive headset and plug them into the corresponding ports on this box. Now once you plug them into this box, your computer is going to go a little crazy, probably install half a dozen or so different drivers. Let it do its thing and make sure it finishes before you continue on to the next step. Once that's complete, go ahead and turn both controllers on. That'll be denoted by a green light. Now if it's not a green light, you're going to have to go through the pairing process, but we'll start up the room scale setup in Steam VR. So now that you have Steam VR downloaded, go ahead and click that room scale button to start the room scale setup. You're going to want to make sure that the controllers and the headset are all visible to those boxes you put on the wall or on tripods, and they'll all be lit up green on the side here. Next, you're going to want to stand in the middle of the room, point your controller at your actual monitor, and hold down the trigger. Then you're going to want to put the controllers on the ground, make sure they're both visible to both of those boxes again, and then click on calibrate floor to make sure that the monitors actually know what the floor is and where to calibrate themselves. Next, they're going to be tracing the actual room, which is the really fun part. So you're going to want to grab the trigger on the back, point it at the edge of your wall or the space in your room, and go ahead and literally just trace the line around the entire edge. You want to make a square or a rectangular shape, and you're going to make sure that this closes all the way. And when you're tracing around the room, you want to make sure to not go over any objects like this, because when you're in the VR headset, you really can't see them all that well usually, and you're probably going to smack them. So make sure you go before them and not after them. Now that that setup is complete, it was pretty painless. Let's move on to the headset. On both sides of the headset, you're going to find straps that adjust it to make it tighter on your actual head. And you're also going to want to pay attention to the strap that's up top because that strap around the back should come about the length of the midpoint of your ears all the way around the back of your head to make it most comfortable. All of these are Velcro and they can adjust quite a bit. And if you have a particularly small head or you're putting it on children, you can actually put it all the way around in the back where the cords come to it. You're going to want to pull these cords tight and then on the back you're going to find the audio jack. Go ahead and plug those little headphones in that came with it or your preferred headphones of course and make sure that they are short enough to where you don't have too much slack. Now to go ahead and pop it on your head. Again, make sure that this strap goes around about the midpoint of the back of your head. And of course, then go ahead and plug in your earphones, get them all set, and everything should be pretty much good to go at this point. Be sure to check out the rest of our HTC Vive content, as well as a couple of tips and tricks and different gameplay videos we've got on the channel. Check us out on Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you're at, we're at. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.